Next year, just to tease you, next year's Kingdom Business Summit is going to be the largest lineup of speakers that I've ever put together. There's going to be eight speakers on top of just me. And, uh, and I've done that for a reason. I want to bring more wisdom to you guys. And, uh, and what's really cool about it, they're not all doing all cities, of course, but I'm recording them in every city and everybody that buys a ticket actually will get the recordings of all of the speakers of all of the cities, not just the city that you attend, right? So that's, that's a huge amount of value. So, um, so that's, uh, that's, that's really, really exciting. And just to tease you, uh, we went public with three of our guest speakers yesterday. We've got Dave Hodgson, who runs a $1.3 billion fund. Uh, we have Peter Irvine, who was one of the co-founders of Gloria Jeans Global. Uh, and we have Victoria Beatty, who is a female entrepreneur who's killing it at the moment uh, with a very successful online, offline business uh, called The Beach People. And, uh, and, and, and we actually have, also we have the CEO of Christian Super, who's going to come and talk about using money to impact the world for good and, uh, and a whole bunch of other speakers that, are, that we'll announce as time goes by. So you're going to get all of that for a $79 ticket or... Right now, you can buy extra tickets for just $20 each, up to four more, okay? So if you buy five tickets, it works out to $32 a ticket. For two days of high-end practical business training, prophetic worship ministry, it don't get better than that. Hello, Sam here. Sam, it's Wes Hone. You're on Kingdom Business TV. Hi, Wes. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Merry Christmas. Yes, you too. Thank you for your call today. What can I help you with? <laughs> I was just uh, calling up in regards to uh, taking time off. How long uh, do you take off? And how do you kind of, you, you plan the year before and then you take a couple of weeks off? What does that look like for you? Yeah, so I do, I typically do two weeks uh, off. Uh, so I'll be stopping on Friday and taking two weeks uh, maybe two weeks and one day. I don't know. Maybe that extra day will be nice. Um, I, uh, I have learned to do off really well. So, yeah. you know, and that wasn't the case for the first 10 years of my business life. I never, I was never able to switch off. My mind would go a million miles an hour all the time. Um, and it, and it still does to a degree, but it doesn't stop me being present with the family, which is amazing. So, for me, it's just a standard in my diary, right? I'm, I'm taking two weeks off over Christmas. Uh, I actually added up the amount of annual leave that I've had this year, and it's actually five weeks. I've actually taken five weeks off this year. So the way I do it, though, is, is I do insanely intense and then off. Right? That's, that's what I have learned to do. So I just do 12 hours work in an eight hour day so that I don't feel bad when I'm at home at night or on the weekends or on, or on holiday. Um, that's that's so, fantastic. So I imagine the whole year is planned for you before you take that lead so you're not kind of thinking, oh, I haven't met with that person or... Yeah, so totally. I like, but what I do is I go and buy a one year physical wall planner right? Yeah. Um, so it's got all the 365 days on it. And then I actually get a whole bunch of different colored dot stickers. And the first thing I do is I put in my family holidays and then I backfill work. And I, I, and I have to do it that way. Otherwise, there'll always be a meeting to go to and a trip to take that doesn't include my family. So I, I, put, in, yeah. I put in the family holidays and the family time and then put all my business around it. And I, I find that's the way that I can value my family and show them that in amongst the busyness, they are really important. Um, and then, you know, like, like I'll, I'll probably throw my phone in the cupboard for the first week of my two weeks off. I can, I'm, I'm, you know, I'll leave that to the Lord. Now I'll say, right, you know, you can run my business for seven days. I'll look after my family and, and, and then just really, really get that relaxing down tools. Because at the end of the day, next year is going to be massive, right? For every single one of us, next year is going to be massive. So we've got to learn to stop and take a breather and recalibrate because next year's got enough troubles of its own. It's not worth worrying about now. Yeah, yeah, that's very helpful. Thank you so much. But you've got to get that breather, right? You've got to be able to hit the reset button. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, if, you if you don't, you'll come February and you'll be wishing, you'll be burning out and miserable and... You know, uh, you, you, you've just got to be able to hit that. Now, if you're in retail, if you're in retail, by the way, it's not Christmas that you take your time off. 
because that's when you're making your money. Yeah. In retail, it's probably February or something, right? So that's a, it doesn't really matter when in the year it is, but you've got to factor in that time to hit reset and, uh, and so forth. Yeah, 